here we are at Tally Gruppner in front of the uh, the front of the uh, the hall where I used to come for my school concerts and the Tally Disco. Um, Tally Gruppner has a population of uh, 600 people. Um, my old primary school just down the road. Um, a couple of my brothers still live here now. Um, aunties, uncles, a lot of friends. So um, yeah, some of the uh, more enjoyable days of my life were lived here in Tally Gruppner. Yeah. God's country. Used to spend a little bit of time in this phone box. Um, Uncle and Auntie Ross and Sally just live right here next door. Um, so we used to prank call them and used to be able to get about half a second in. So we used to yell, yell something out to them and they'd just walk straight out the front and find a couple of us in this phone booth, so. <laughs> Tally Post Office, one of the, uh, well, last standing, obviously, the server on the post office, still going strong, everyone needs their mail. Um, yeah, I don't reckon I was coming to get the mail too often when I was living here. <laughs> so mum and dad split up like when we were in year seven, I reckon. And our house is like literally just at the end of the street. And when mum moved out, this is where the old um, shop was, like the general store. And it was closed when that happened. So there's a little house out the back. So we moved into here. She's a bit run down now, but they used to have the same TV. We couldn't find mum's remote, so we used to run down to dad's, grab the remote, change the channel here, and then have to leg it back to dad's and give him his remote back. So. I guess that was one of the benefits of living so close to, to Dad was, yeah, whenever you couldn't find the remote, you knew there was another one just down the road. Me and my brother literally slept in that room right there. The house was out there and we used to sleep in the old shop front, big cool room in the corner. Yeah, this is the Tally Group and the Recreational Reserve. Played all my junior cricket here. Um, Got the bowling club over the back as well. I reckon I've had a couple of games of bowls. Um, Dad used to play bowls when we were growing up. Um, but yeah, as I said, there's no pub, so it's sort of like the footy and the bowls clubs where sort of everyone comes together and, and enjoys himself. So yeah, very tight knit town, Tally. So everyone sort of knows everyone, everyone everyone's mates. Yeah, I love growing up out here at Tally and um, somewhere that, you know, I clo hold close to my heart, so. Um, yeah, I loved it. So we're back home now at Tally Primary School. Um, yeah, I came here from prep to grade six. Um, still got a couple of my little nephews that go here now. Um, let's go and say good day to them and see what's changed at the primary school. I reckon that is similar, probably a little bit different, that playground, but everything's in the same spot. Maybe it's just uh, been upgraded a little bit. This shed here definitely wasn't here when I was here. Um, I actually remember one time there was a wasp nest up in that corner and we might have been throwing rocks at it and one of the boys got stung about 10 times all over him, so not a good memory for him. I don't think I got stung too much, but yeah. Bring, brings back some good memories. Good to see you. <laughs> How are you? Good. Why'd you bring your jumpers? I don't want it. He wants it. They need it. So. Where's your coming with jumper? I think there was a card on the table. I forgot who, to bring it. Who do you bag for? Demons. Who's your favourite demons player? Jacob Van Wyn. Is he? Mm. What about Big Max? I don't know, he used to be. <laughs> the young kids, eh? All right, what do you reckon? We'll go have a kick? Right. Yeah. All right, let's go. I think, to be honest, that's, I reckon that's all we ever would have done. Like, um, if it wasn't coming to this over, it would have been going to the, like, the actual tally footy over and, um, yeah, depending what time of the year, it was either cricket, um, tennis, footy, but 
yeah, it was just, it was always some kind of sport. Um, as I said, sort of uh, even like after school, so there was, you know, a few of us that when we went to high school would go to different schools and then come back to Tally and, um, yeah, to be come back to play more sport. So, um, yeah, these are, you know, these are the glory days when you got no worries in the world when you're at primary school. Um, yeah, you're living your best life, I think, so. Um, it doesn't feel that long ago that I was here, to be honest. <laughs> Archie's pop, he goes for the pies, he was happy. He gets a bit overreacted at home. Does he? He has to listen to it on the radio, doesn't he? Otherwise he goes mad. <laughs> That's good that you're passionate, Arch, it's good. I've always loved playing. Um, I love competing. I don't think I've, I'm not out there laughing. Like I'm, I might look like I'm smiling, but it might be just a bit of an expression. Um, but yeah, I, you know, the two hours that we get to play each week um, are the best two hours. So um, I've always enjoyed whatever sport I'm doing. Um, footy's been the one that I've probably loved the most. And yeah, I guess my love from footy is probably if it didn't start here, probably just started over the road, yeah. All right, well, good to see you. Yeah. Right, back to class now, eh? Yeah. All right, catches. See ya. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know, there's something about him, he just never ceases to amaze me. Goes out on that ground and then it's like, I don't know, I remember the TAC Cup Grand Final. I remember his first two possessions and I thought, oh, he's going to have a shocker. And then all of a sudden the light came on and it was unbelievable, wasn't it? Yeah. And I mean, that was like 2010 Grand Final. I think he was robbed, he should have won the now. <laughs> but that's me. <laughs> done so well, doesn't he? He's just achieved. He, and he, I think he just goes about it quietly. Like, I mean, to him, it's a job and he loves it. He loves it. Which is, and because he loves it, and they all love, like their jobs, I hope. But yeah, to think that he's so successful is, yeah, he's beautiful. They're all beautiful. Yeah. Oh, well then there's Trent, he's the oldest, and his nickname was Buff, but we don't really call him that much anymore. He usually just gets sick. And then there's Tyson. When Tyson was born, Tyson was quite small compared to Trent, so he was flea. So then we had Joshua. Joshua was born on the couch at home. So when he was little, his grandfather used to call him Couch. But as he's got older, his new nickname, because there's not much of that, Josh, is Twiggy. And then Ryan lives in England, and his nickname's Golly. Because when he was little, he used to run around with a dummy in his mouth. And be talking and he'd go golly 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 so he got golly and then still is rusty and we had a choice poppy hawk said he could either be when we finally named him steel he said well he could be stainless or rusty and we went with rusty because stainless was awful <laughs> <laughs> there you go well, i didn't even know where it come from so now i do yeah. I couldn't remember anyway. Poppy Hop. That's how we got rusty. Yeah. Exactly. I'll say that still, even getting to 300 games hasn't changed as a person. Going from when he was first drafted to now, I think he's the same, same steel as he was back then. And you could probably ask a lot of people that, that do know him outside of football as well. He hasn't changed a bit. So that's a real good asset as well. And yeah, I think. The small community um, breeds that India, so yeah. Sort of had an idea that he was probably good enough to make it. I do remember the one day when we were at King Up and I went and watched him, being a few of my mates. He went down the four line and he goes, I'll put one on for you, boys. <laughs> he come over to the pocket right where we were sitting and he snapped it along the ground and went straight in and he goes, there you go, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. Hello. Zoe, we're delayed because she had a lot of calls on the phone. I tell you, you can't sit with me. Are you yeah. going to sit with Dad? No, no. Dad or Nanny? We're going to sit with Talking about you all day. That's, they're just those things you left. Yeah, you. Okay. All right, see you later. Let's go and sit with Dad. Come here. I got four. Do you? Who's ringing? They might ask you a few questions here, right? You sit here with Dad. Can you answer? Can you tell them? Continue. Yeah, I told him everything. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually a thing where we um, had to kick on the opposite foot in the backyard, and that's where a lot of us can kick on our non preferred. So I think that's where both sides have come to his game. So to think he could get to 300 and be the fourth highest games player at Collingwood is pretty impressive. Um, yeah, who knows? Probably second by the time he finishes under Pendles. I don't think he'll ever catch him. No, I don't think so. He's pretty durable <laughs> type of fella. Um, but no, like extraordinary effort. Um, the boy from Tally that could do that. Who would, who would have thought? Yeah. Oh, look, I think I'm, I think I'm the lucky one because 
now I don't want to cook. <laughs> I already warned them anyway. Uh, I said mum would get emotional at some stage. Um, because he does look after me. And he's, and I always knew he'd make it when he got there because um, just a sort of person that he is. And like I said to you out in the room before, I think he was robbed in 2010 and I think he should have won the Anzac Day medal only a couple of weeks ago. But you can't tell the other parents I've said that. Well, you beat him, Phil. So they're probably <laughs> going to say it. Um, I reckon every mum of every player said the same thing, so yeah. it's probably all right. <laughs> <laughs> But I think, um, yeah, I always knew he was going to do well. And, I, and I'm so, so proud of him. So proud. I mean, I'm proud of all of them. I love them all very, very much. And I know if I needed something, and I rang them and asked them, they'd be here. So, yeah, I'm very lucky. Why I am who I am is because of the people in this room and the way I was brought up. Um, yeah, you, you were saying as well, like you've always got a smile on your face, you're never taking things too seriously and that's the environment that I was yeah, brought up in. I try not to take things too serious um, and I love to have a joke, but then, you know, when it's time to work, you know, I work and the people in this room have shaped me to be the person I am. So um, all the awards and the accolades I get, I hope they get just as much enjoyment out of that as well because it's not just me that gets it, it's a lot of people that have helped me along my way 